We are now live at the White House, and the president is not shaking hands. Oh, is shaking hands with our heroic pilot. That would be awkward otherwise. Thanks to him, the drug lord, and the madman go on trial today in the federal courthouse down the street. The president is now congratulating. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, the White House is under attack. E gads. I've just been told that a small force has entered the city and has helped the drug lord and madman escape from the courthouse. Oh, they are now at large in Washington and they are terrorizing the city. Well, well, well. You didn't really think it was over, did you? No, of course not. So, welcome back to Jungle Strike, uh, everybody. Now, um, this video should have gone up at 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, this video is going to be very, very hot off the press. <laughs> uh, I just sat down to record blue... <laughs> Oh, ooh, uh, excuse me. Just sat down to record something. And um, going through my videos, I realized the, the video file for this mission has disappeared, which is wonderful. Um, no biggie. It's uh, not the hardest mission in the world. It is a bit of a penis, though, because they don't tell you much. We have one mission so far, and that is Air Force One. Uh, Marine chopper carrying the president to... Pro to protect the president as he flees the city for Camp David, assure he has a clear airspace from the White House to the Northwest Sector. He must not perish. Yeah, um, interesting. So the president's going to run away, uh, as he does, and he's going to take the most direct path out of the city, which is full of enemies. Now, uh, equipment is a little bit of an issue on this mission. You see those fuel drums there? Uh, in the north, there is two fuel drums, and uh, to the south, there is one fuel drum. That's it. No hidden fuel on this mission, uh, Milados. That is it. Um, now, this mission is fairly short, so it wouldn't ordinarily be a problem, but there is a fuck factor. Uh, and that is in the shape of the second mission, which we'll get into in a minute. Anyway, let's go help the uh, Prezi get out of here. All right, come on, you. Let's go pave the way, shall we? Now, quite how these gentlemen managed to sneak into the city is kind of beyond me. But hey, ours is not to question why. Ours is just to make them all die. There we go. All right. Well, I hope they brought better equipment than that, because that was a little bit sad, guys. And I believe that's the way he goes. Oh, hello. Hmm, random tanks just uh, spread around the city. That's strange. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is why the second mission is such a pain in the ass. It really is. Right, where, where's, where's the prayers? They've really done some damage to the White House here. Not quite sure how um, <laughs> these guys just got the drop uh, like that. But hey, as I said, we're not here to ask questions. We're just here to shoot things. Now, unfortunately, this uh, presidential chopper is not exactly fast. And uh, he is flying extremely low down to the ground as well. Um, straight through the path of the most resistance. So he's a smart... Oh, God. He's a smart boy. And let's... <laughs> yeah, woke the pilot up. Um, let's hope we don't just, like, take him out. Now, enemy weapons. Uh, enemy attack weapons rolling down Pennsylvania Avenue. Washington is under attack. Remnants of the drug lord's army seize the city, busting uh, the madman and drug lord from the courthouse. They must be eliminated. We've destroyed three of them. I think there's somewhere around 15 of them. And, hey, it doesn't tell us where they are. And if you, uh, <laughs> if you think you have to fly around the city looking for them, you'd be right. Yeah, uh, kind of awkward this mission. And I don't know if they're always in the same place. I mean, they probably are. But you're going to burn a lot of fuel here. And you, uh, you kind of just have to get a little bit lucky with it, you know? Um, you probably can memorize where all the tanks are rolling. Oh, there's one. Now, you don't have to destroy them all. Uh, you just have to get, I th think, all except one of them. They allow you to miss one. Now, there are ammo trucks, like there were in the first Washington mission. 
Except with the difference. And they don't tell you where they are here. Because reasons, I guess. I don't know why. I don't know why it's such a secret. But hey. Uh, that's what we got to do. Now, I always find this quite interesting that there's all these weapons uh, and tanks and whatnot rolling into the city. And I'm guessing there's a lot of people live in Washington, D.C. I don't know. I'm just guessing. You would have thought one or two of them would be able to look out the window and uh, phone it in to the people who, you know, know these things. But I guess not. Even the police guards that drive around, uh, you would have thought that they would have the authority to phone in where the bad guys are. Or maybe these uh, buildings are actually being attacked. But no. It has to have that uh, quality jungle strike difficulty attached to it. And it's not bad. It's, it's not that difficult. Um, it's just the race against time before we run out of fuel. Now, we don't know. Oh, God. Talking of fuel. Oof. Now, I don't know if... You know what? I think we're just going to run out of fuel and just get a free refuel, to be honest. Because we only have three of them. And... I don't want to waste fuel on this mission if we're going to need it later. We have plenty of lives. This mission isn't actually difficult. And uh, we should also come back with four. I don't know, actually. Does it? Do we get all of our armor back if we crash from fuel? Uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Boom, baby. Get wrecked. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we actually do get everything back apart from... Apart from our ammo, which is a bit of a shame, but hey, that's cool. Whatever. Whatever, you. Right, now, how many are we up to? We're up to nine. Yeah. There's no point in hiding. Let's stick some hellfires up these guys' asses. Ride them straight to hell. Now, you can see the map is a little bit shifted. Um, and it's also very small, so... That looks like there's quite a big piece of map there, but actually is l at a push. You, there's only a quarter of the map that we actually get to play with. Do not hit that fuel. I will be very fucking salty if we hit that fuel. Uh, right. So, technically we've given ourselves four tanks of fuel. Should be enough. Oh, nice. Oh, right, hello there. Is that enough? That's not enough. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't think all these guys spawn at once either. I think um, you have to destroy one or two of them before they spawn. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think there's any that spawn up at the White House. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Nope. So, you know, um, does this Comanche not have an active radar? Or, or, you know, what's going on here? You really just have to fly around guessing. It is a bit silly. Right, we've been around here. Let's scoop this stuff up. I don't think there's a quick winch on this mission. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to say probably. Ah, hello. Get fucked. So that's now up to 12. Yeah, I've, I've got a feeling there's 15. And we have to destroy 13. Maybe 14. It's something like that. Um... We just keep flying around. They are at the notable buildings. Ah, I wonder if there's one at the hospital. Did we destroy the one at the hospital? I'm pretty sure we did. Hmm. Let's go check them out, shall we? Now, when I was uh, playing this first time, this actually took me ages to get this done. Hopefully it's not going to take quite as long this time. Because I have a rough idea. Fuck you. Rough idea on where they are. And when I say rough idea, I know they're on the map. <laughs> At least I hope they're on the map. Oh, that'd be awkward. Ooh. It's not quite what I wanted, but sure. Um, you'll do. I don't think there's anything in there. No. Probably going to get moaned at for that. Civilian building destroyed. Get fucked. Now, anybody up here? Ah, oh, there's a copper. Probably get in trouble if we take him out. 
Um, right, well, this ain't looking so promising now, is it? Definitely nobody up here. They are quite often on the roads, obviously, but not always, as we've seen before. The Library of Congress, that literally doesn't have anything here, does it? Doesn't look like it. There's our fuel. Now, if we waste this, that is the one and only armor repair, I believe, in this mission also. So, you know. This petrol station has sacrificed himself for us. You will be remembered for at least three or four minutes. Ah, oh, no, that's not actually what we want. That's part of another mission, but whilst we're here. Right, I surrender. I just saw Carlos Ortega hijack a tour bus. He's headed for the edge of town. Yeah, and we're out of fuel. So, Carlos is uh, trying to make way on a bus. Well, he ain't going to get far when we get hold of him. We're just going to reach out all gentle-like. Reach out and uh, shake his fucking neck. Now, that's giving us some more juice. But still, we don't have a lot of juice. This is a problem. I'm pretty sure he's down here somewhere, if memory serves. Because it doesn't tell you uh, where these guys are either, I don't think. I could be wrong about that. There's another command car rolling around somewhere as well that tells us where the other guy is. But again, we've kind of just got to bump into him eventually. There's some more go juice. Precious, precious go juice. Oh, there's the other one. Come on. Oh, God. Get out of here. Right, so I'll tell you what you want to do. The madman kill Baba. <laughs> kill Baba. <laughs> I love it. Uh, just commandeered a, f commandeered? Commandeered a fuel truck and is trying to escape the city. Oh, no. So. I mean, we've got the generals now, uh, which was, how many missions is there? There's only six. So, the uh, the Drug Lord's War uh, General and the Madman Second in Command locate and capture these scum alive. They know the Drug Lord and Madman are making their escape from the city. Look for their armoured command cars. Indeed. Now, eventually, if we keep completing missions, uh, accidentally of course, Eventually, it will highlight where the enemy weapons are. So, let's go pick up some more ammo. There's tons of ammo. There's, like, way more ammo in this uh, on this mission than you're ever going to need. Might as well drop these guys off to get a little bit of armor patched. Like so. Yeah, we don't have to worry too much about armor. Not really. There's not a lot left that's actually going to fight against us, to be honest with you. Um, but, oh, we'll check the front lawn of this building. Nope. God damn it. Can you see the problem here, guys? That we're, like, so close to running out of fuel here. Oh, right, well... And we can't get to that fuel station because it's literally just cut off. Mm, come on, you son of a fucking bitch. Where are you? Come on. Come on. I mean, what we could do is start trying to track where we've been. It's probably a smart idea. Ow. Oh, God. We actually, like, froze up for a second there. Oof. Uh, right, well, come on, come on, justice, ah, maybe, 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 oh, you know, maybe not, well, that was awkward, um, come on, come on, come on, well, we know they're not around the FBI area, we've Ah, uh, maybe they're above, yeah, to the north, somewhere, I guess. I keep thinking that I'm seeing them just slightly off center of the screen, but no. Nope. 
No. Damn, where the fuck? Yeah, this is the real fuck factor on this mission. It's such a, like, ridiculous final task, or, well, second task, really, to get you to burn all of your fuel and really screw you over for no real good reason. Uh, enemy weapons, yeah. Like I say, uh, they, when we take out... I'm pretty sure once we take out, like, Carlos, which might happen, we might find him in a minute. Once we do that... Oh. There we go. Done. I'm done. There's the drug lord up here. So, yeah, once we frag one of these guys... Uh, um we will get uh, tipped off to where the other weapons are. Just not sure why it takes so long, you know. Uh, armor's fine. Alright, let's go waste this guy. Come to daddy. Your ass is mine. Ooh. Well, we're just going to unload everything we got on him. Nice. There's mission four done. We've actually fried his ass as well. Uh, intercept Ortega's escape from Washington. Hunt down Ortega and prevent his... Or, yeah, Ortega. And uh, prevent his escape. Use of extreme force to stop him has been sanctioned. Do not let him get away. Now, look. Now we've killed him. There you go. It's showing us where the enemy weapons are. Uh, there's the madman. What have we got left? We've got plenty of weapons in stock. I'm going to go kick this guy in the balls. And then it's all freaking gravy, baby. I'm going to kick back on a beach somewhere. Oh, good. <laughs> Just making sure it's, uh, you know, actually like recording. Because that would suck testicles. Hey, friend. Interesting choice of an escape vehicle. Something that was going to go boom. I love this. Look at him bobbing his head. He's, he's having a great time. He's just listening to some reggae. Boom! Yeah. He was having fun until we turned up and killed him. But wait, there is one more. Yes, we have nuclear missiles to take out. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Come on. Oh, God. And he's just, like, turned up at the IRS building. Because, of course, he has. Now, nuke missiles. 18-wheel trucks carrying nuclear missiles. But it's not over yet. Stop the four 18-wheelers headed straight for the White House. Bring lots of ammo. These bruises are reinforced with tank armor. Stop them! Yes. Yeah, it, it, it's not that bad. They're just literally lead-footing their way to the, uh, to the White House. You know, with uh, nuclear missiles in the back. Because I'm sure that would work great for them. Um, yeah, they, they kind of hyped that up a little bit, but you'll see it's really not that much to worry about, to be fair. Uh, right, where's one of the nuke trucks? So all we have to do, really, is just light them up. I'm not sure how much chain gun they actually take, to be honest. I mean, they're moving at a somewhat rapid pace, I suppose. But, yeah. Yeah... Yeah, we really don't have to worry about them too much. I mean, I guess the one from the west? Kind of looks... Well, they definitely look closer, so you probably would need a, uh, to get very lucky if you're going to take them out with a chain gun. But we've got rockets, you know. Oh, wow. So they have... They've got well over a thousand armor, then. If they just took up all my uh, hydras. But that's fine. That would be a problem if we didn't come prepared. But we did come prepared. And this is like the only one that really has some kind of uh, backup. But yeah. He poses very little threat to us. Uh, should we go get some ammo to sort this guy out? Nah, there's no point. We're just going to send this guy packing with the last of our hydras and the rest of our chain gun ammo. Uh, what's our fuel like? 44, okay. Hey, friend. It's just, gonna, <laughs> it's just gonna fly backwards. Dude, just take out the cab, man. Just shred the cab. 
There we go. Mission complete. So, that is everything. Return to base when missions are complete. Aye, lad. Everything done. You know what? Let's just go grab the last of the fuel. Just because... You know, we probably could have done that, actually, without sacrificing a life. But it's nice to have that bit of buffer. Mm, fuel. Precious fuel. I do like our swaggo landing pad here. It's very nice. And there we go, guys. There we go. Mission complete. Do we really need to see this? I guess the game says we do. So, fair enough. And that is the end of uh, Jungle Strike. For real this time. Not the fake end that we had last time. Congratulations! You've saved the world from nuclear disaster once again. Yay! Gets easier every time I do it. You're not wrong. Without your heroic efforts, the free world would have been forced to submit to the insane demands of a dictatorial madman. Can't see how, but okay. Yeah, I hate that kind of stuff too. You and your co-pilot should head outside. There's a few people who would like to say hello to you. Really? People? Ew. I'm an introvert. That's why I became a maniac pilot. Jungle Strike. The sequel to Desert Strike. And there we go, guys. That is the game done. And we get to listen to this badass theme again. Isn't it scary to think this game's nearly 30 years old? 30 years old. I like the way you got the little high score uh, banner in the background. So, as our pilot says, this almost gets easier every time we do it. Yeah. <laughs> He's not wrong, because we have Urban Strike to do in the not hopefully not too distant future um, earlier strike uh, urban strike is significantly easier I like the vehicles in urban strike um, and it it has a lot of uh, little things I think hidden in the levels like you I think you have Elvis Presley to find the king on every level uh, I'm gonna need to do some uh, research because I did actually miss a few things out on this mission. Um, and I missed something out in Desert Strike as well, which I'm kind of irked about. I actually missed the pilot on the, is it the second mission. The optional pilot there is to find. And I'm really salty about that. And I missed the castaways as well uh, on the second mission of this game as well. Um, I actually knew about the castaways, but at the time of recording, I totally freaking forgot so I do want to try and get everything in Urban Strike. Urban Strike as I said is the much much easier game um, it does have some cool bits though like you get the on foot levels which I really like to a point I didn't like them as a kid um, I don't I can't remember why I think it, right here's the thing about me when I was a kid I was terrified of everything I had a really bad upbringing it's like a story so I had a lot of, uh, for another time so I had a lot of anxiety and a lot of like worry and you know I was terrified of everything um, turn, turns out all that shit disappears when you grow a beard um, so yeah I was really freaked out by those uh, ground missions I used to get so like tense playing them almost to the point of being sick anxiety yes lots of anxiety as a kid um, but they were really cool you know it's such a a nice little evolution because you know we got we got extra vehicles in this one um, and we get a lot of extra vehicles actually in urban strike but to actually have like a totally different traversal mode like on foot I don't really know where they could have taken it after that to be honest I don't know how they could have kept evolving the series. Uh, one of the reviews did actually say, back in the day, um, that they reckon they took the series as far as they possibly could. You know, there was no point in them bringing out any more um, because you know the the series had, a, had evolved as far as it could go. I disagree. I'd have loved to have seen more. And of course we did get more. We got the 3D games, but the 3D games don't hold up half as well as these. They're still fun, and they're okay. 
They have crazy difficulty spikes though. They really did bring the difficulty back for the 3D games. I haven't decided whether I'm going to redo the um, 3D strike games. I mean, I, I want to, for sure. But they are a pain in the ass. And to be fair, I do actually have my PlayStation 3 now. So I can record using that. Which is cool. The end, or is it? It will never be the end. Well, technically we had three games more and then, then we came to the end of the series. Unfortunately. And where's the music gone? Ooh. Ooh, we have no music here. Well, that's... Sucky. Ha. Huh. Uh, I might have loaded the unfinished beta, maybe. Ah, well, it doesn't really matter. So, anyway, guys, that's going to end Jungle Strike. Uh, does this game still holds up? hold up now? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, it's... <laughs> It is just like Desert Strike, obviously, in that regard, except it's better in almost every way. You know, it is Desert Strike, but more refined, with better graphics, uh, better sound, and more expansive levels. Desert Strike, at this point, almost feels like a demo um, of this game. Uh, they started to really push the Mega Drive a little bit with this, and to be fair, you can say that of Urban Strike as well. Urban Strike, visually is the pinnacle. Um, you know, they really started pushing the Mega Drive hard with that, with all the 3D models and, and whatnot. Well, not 3D models, but they were 3D models. And then, uh, obviously, they were converted into 2D. But they started to really push things. Um, but yes, this one is possibly the best in the series, depending on how you look at things. I... Th Ooh, it's... Mm. I don't know if I could pick a favourite out of Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, and Urban Strike. I don't know if I could. There's, there's, oof. there's so many um, things that I like from from all three of them. I like Desert Strike because of the nostalgia. I like this one again because it was a wonderful like birthday memory that I played this game for like literally years. And Urban Strike was just. <sighs> Man, it just felt like the pinnacle at the time. Difficulty, obviously, uh, uh, notwithstanding. And the narrative, the plot, got better with each one. Desert, uh, Urban Strike is very cinematic, uh, or as cinematic as a game like this can actually be. Whereas, obviously, with, with uh, Desert Strike, there was really nothing there. But um, anyway, I'm rambling, and I need to go to the shops. Then I need to come back and start recording another game which I'm not going to mention. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.